y'all i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be doing a story time about the time i almost drowned mm -mm -mm. scariest moment of my life like for real all right so i was like a little kid i want to say i really don't know i want to say i was like in elementary school like 10 years old i want to say 10 i don't know but elementary school and my brother, his mentor at the time, he, um, like 10 at the time. And my brother had a mentor and his mentor had took me and my sisters, my two sisters and my brother. And we went to his mentor's dad house to get in the pool and stuff like that and cook on the griddle or whatever. So we went there and... We got we was in the pool, we was playing, we ha we were having a good time. Like back then we loved to get in the pool. So we was in the pool, we was playing, and like I think the pool was either I I wanna say five feet or more than five feet. I don't know. But anyways, we playing, we having a good time. His um <clears throat> his his mentor and the mentor dad, they like, yeah, y'all stay down here like down down the end that's like three feet or whatever they was like yeah y'all stay down here and play because the other side like got deep and we elementary school we're not five feet yet like we small so we just playing and whatever and i like we us girls we down one end our brother down the other end because our brother kind of like he was kind of big and tall whatever and i think he was in middle school if not middle school like freshman year of high school i don't know so we all in the pool swimming around everybody laughing joking they the mentor and his dad like they sitting in a little area chair area whatever i don't know what it's called but yeah they over there and we in the pool so we got, we like a couple feet from them but at the same time we close like they can get us so we in the pool and we all swimming whatever chilling and like you know when you don't know how to swim or nothing like that you like kind of hang on the side or whatever so we we all like we don't want to go down there we don't want to go down the deep end because we don't know how to swim but my brother down there so i'm just like i want to go down there. <laughs> i don't know child i was like i want to go down there or whatever no one good as well i ain't know how to swim don't know how to swim at all but I love to be in the water at the time. Like anybody pool, I just love to be in the water. Cause I used to get in my cousin pool, but his pool was nowhere near as deep or big as the pool we got in. So I used to be in my cousin pool doing like flips, all that, thinking I could swim. So I just knew I could swim when I got in this big pool. I knew I could swim. Like nobody could tell me nothing. I just knew I could swim. So me and my sisters, we we talking or whatever. So I go to hang on like the side of the pool, the edge of the pool, whatever. Like the place where you like can get out from the side or whatever. So I go to hang on that. And I'm walking like close to where the pool get deep at, but not right there yet. So I'm walking on that side, holding on to the thing. So I'm walking like this. And next thing you know is I'm gone. <laughs> It's not funny because I was so scared at the time, but I can like laugh kind of now because I'm still alive, thankfully. So I go, I'm walking and next thing you know, I'm going under. I'm on the deep end. I didn't even think I was on the deep end, but I was holding on. And I, next thing you know, I felt my feet could not touch the bottom no more. So And I just slipped under. And I'm scared, like scared, panic, shocked. I don't know what to do. And all I hear is screaming. Like, I just hear my sisters and them screaming, but me, I, I could not swim. I could not get myself back to the top. I just thought I was going to die in the water. Like, water just filling my nose and everything. Like, I'm just so scared. I'm I'm scared. I didn't have a chance to cry or nothing. I'm just panicking. So, at that time, like, if you, if you ever almost drowned before or whatever, you know, like, you think that's your last breath. Like, you just think you're going to die from drowning. You think nobody's coming to save you, even though I know they wouldn't leave me in the pool to just drown. But that's what it felt like. I felt like I was in that water for a long time. Like I just was gone. 
I was just gonna die in that water. Nobody gonna help me. So um, I heard my brothers and my brother and them like saying my name, but I could not swim back to the top. I could I couldn't. I was small. I was in elementary school. I could not get back to the top. So next thing you know, all I hear is like splashing of water. So I know that the mentor and his dad like they jumped in, and I know because my sister them told me like. Yeah, they they jumped in to get me, but they closed on to everything. They jumped in to get me, and they they brought me back from like out of the water into the top. And I, next thing out, like I'm just coughing up water. I'm scared. I'm just like, <sighs> like that, and I I'm I was crying because I thought I was gonna die. And then I'm not with my mama. I'm with my brother's mentor, so I'm not with my mama. I'm I'm just scared. I was crying, so. That's that's kind of like all that happened, like at least from what I can remember, like almost running. And they saved me. I did not want to get back in that pool. I wanted to go home. So now it's just like, if you're a person that almost drowned, I don't like how do y'all get back to liking water? Like before that happened, I did like water, but after that, it's just like no. That experience was not fun. It was scary. I thought I was gonna die. That like that's a fear of mine now. I do not like to get in large bodies of water. Like I don't. And even though that's not like a big large body of water to me, it was a large body of water because I was a kid. I was small. Now I'm older. I don't like going to the beach. I don't like none of that. Like, do not ask me to go to the beach because I'm not getting in the water. Do not ask me to go get in no big pool because I'm not getting in. Any like doing water rides, I don't like. I don't like nothing that can lead me into a big body of water. Like, mm -mm. I'd be scared of anything dealing with water. And I think since that incident, I want to say I have been to like a water park once. Even then I was scared, but I went because, you know, everybody else is going. And then I got in the pool recently for my birthday, but it wasn't a deep pool because I got taller and I grew up. So it was like a five feet pool, pool or whatever, which I could do, but... Mm -mm. anything larger than that deeper than that no i can't do it i'm just i just be so scared because i just think i'm gonna drown again and ever since then i have not learned how to swim because i just don't i don't want to be in big body of water like i don't want to be it's not fun if you drown nothing so i don't even want to put myself in that situation again where i can't possibly drown because it's just scary it's not fun and at least to my knowledge i think that's all that happened i'm not sure if anything else happened or in my sister's part my brother's part i don't know yeah i don't know what anything else but that's all i can remember because i was under the water about to see my heavenly father because i really thought it was in a dream and it's scary all that water just gets sucked up into your nose and your mouth and stuff i thought i was gone i thought i was a goner like no but yeah, y'all, that's my story time of how I almost drowned. Really not exciting, but I just wanted to tell it because, like, y'all be careful out there. <laughs> y'all know y'all limits. I tried to push my limits and almost kill myself. Suicide by accident almost could have been me. But I'm here. I'm alive now. I'm good. Thank you to his mentor and the mentor dad. Like, y'all saved my life. Thank you. <laughs> Cause my sisters them could not, cause they not to swim either. They was not coming down to the deep end to get me, cause we was all kids. So I'm glad y'all was people, y'all was paying attention, and y'all was watching us. Oh, y'all should have been, cause yeah, these kids out here that drown, cause lack of attention from the guardian or the parents or whoever's watching them. So thankfully y'all was watching me. I'm always remember that we still talk about that to this day, of how I almost died. And yeah anyways thanks for watching make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos because they coming they coming they coming anyways that's it bye y'all